Welcome back to the 2007 Collegiate Nationals Preview Show. We're here at Crown Point Park in Mission Bay, San Diego for the Jack in the Box Wakeboarding Competition. That's right, we're sitting on these orange buckets that were loaned to us by the sand guy. He's busy back there building the first ever Collegiate Nationals sand dude. Dude. Yeah, that's right, it kind of sets the tone for how great it is out here on the beach. They're over there getting the volleyball courts manicured perfectly for the ladies to go big, bump set and spike their way into being national champions. We've got the wakeboarders back of the boats in the water getting ready to go big and do whirly birds and all kinds of crazy tricks on their wakeboards. Didn't you try that last year? I did, I, I did. I went out there and I kind of thought I was going to be a lot better than I was, really. Well, I want to see you do a whirly bird. I'll this give it a year. shot this year. Here's how the wakeboarding competition works. Two seven-person teams will face off in head-to-head -head competition. In order for a team to advance to the next round, it must win four of the seven individual matchups. The team left standing at the end of the 14-team bracket matchups will be crowned the 2007 Jack in the Box Collegiate Wakeboard Finals Champion. Now we all saw the Florida Gators win their second national championship in basketball, mm -hmm. all right? They also won the championship in football, so that makes them football and basketball collegiate national champions in the same year, right. but they're forgetting about their third biggest sport. Soccer. It just doesn't get enough attention. Wakeboarding. 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 Well, you know, basketball and football, there's, there's a couple of big sports at our school, but the way where you really get into it is when you get to the water ski and the wakeboard. <laughs> You know, Title Town, everyone thinks that it came from the football, but really, the people here at University of Florida know that it's all about the wakeboarders. We're the ones who've been taking the titles for the past couple years, so you know how that goes. Someone's stealing your glory. After we won our back to back championships and uh, never finished, you know, below third or anything, uh, Billy D and Mr. Meyer have come out and uh, they try to see what it takes to be a champion. It started to catch on, as you can see in our basketball team and football teams in the past few years. The football team, they have the stadium, we call it the swamp, but really out here, we ride in an actual swamp. We got gators, snakes, everything you can imagine. Nothing against our basketball team. Greg Oden's a pretty big guy, but a 10-foot alligator is a wee bit scarier. When they come with you, you just gotta stare them down, show them who a real gator is. You know, everyone says that Joe Kim Noah, all those guys are the best athletes, but I just don't see them coming out here. I would like to see one of them ride. I don't think they could. We're the real athletes. You know, there's a lot more to come from San Diego. We'll head to the Wave House to check out flowboarding after the break. <laughs> 